What's going on brothers? So, on this video, I want to share with you my review and the speed test of the Blackmagic eGPU Pro. As you see, I already uploaded a video sharing with you that this is the Pro model. I want to share with you that this is the eGPU Pro and not the eGPU, the normal version. So, as you know guys from other videos on YouTube, when you have the eGPU Pro, you have HDMI and the HDMI the big HDMI so once you have this set up with another two over here you know this is the GPU Pro now it's already set up here and over here first I want to share with you uh, my uh, speed test result the the first one we got over here 156,200 score of the OpenCL guys that's before uh, that's after i already installed final cut pro software and some editing photo softwares before i i installed on the mac and the mac mini of mine these softwares uh the result was 163,000, which means 7,000 more so take it uh in conclusion now if you ask me what my review with the mac mini top spec let me share with you the mac mini top spec are um as you see this is the uh, the mac mini 2018 i7 processor 3.2 um uh, gigahertz and then memory of 32 gigabyte and top graphics and the uh, eGPU Pro Black Magic uh, guys together it's a good combination my review and all what I have to say as a video editor you will love it that will work smoothly on video editing I use a lot of Final Cut Pro with heavy edit but there is one big but if you would like to have a, um, a one piece machine that uh, works even more smoothly together with, uh, with your edit, it's, you will feel the difference if you're using Mac Pro, I'm sorry, iMac Pro, the 5000 uh, base model and up. If you use that, you will feel it's a little bit even smoother than using uh, uh, the Mac Mini with the GPU Pro how to um to describe myself right i want to say that you feel that when you uh hit export the video it takes it about two three seconds to start exporting the video after you finish editing this is uh, this is just for an example to let you understand that um this it's not like when you're gonna hit export on imac pro if you do that, it's gonna start exporting in that second. So it takes two, three seconds until the Mac Mini and, DG and the eGPU Pro works together and then the exporting takes really fast. Uh, if I make an eight minutes video of a 4K, I, in about four minutes, it's already over. Without the eGPU Pro, the Mac Mini itself, it's three times slower, which means it's gonna take me about 16 minutes for eight minutes video. I hope you found the tips behind this video and into this video is that uh, I will recommend buying it with the eGPU Pro, the Mac Mini, but I will say if you have a little bit more to pay and uh, go to f for the $5,000 iMac Pro based model, you will feel even smoother a little bit than this uh, combination. Now one question for you before we end the video. Uh, do you want to buy the iMac Pro for $800 less from the Apple retail price, $5,000 they sell it? I found on eBay few sellers, uh, uh, legit sellers that sells between $3,800 to $4,200 the iMac Pro. If you want to see uh, and I, you want me to share with you the link, please comment below and I will I will send the link to each individual that will ask me for the link on eBay. So guys, thank you for watching up to this point and see you in the next amazing tech videos on this channel. Bye.